Welcome guys to episode 442 of Minecraft and I'm using the Dragon Mounts mod. Now uh, I was blown away at the sheer awesomeness of this mod. Now uh, you can see that my dragon, I command it to stay and uh, now it's following me because I reached a certain distance of blocks within him and now he follows me. Now uh, aren't you a little cutie pie? Now you can see the mod creator has included a lot of different animations such as his tail. His tail can swing now if uh, he walks away from me. There you go. You can see that he sways now. Looks more dragon like. Alright, and if you look at his mouth, you can see that his mouth opens and closes. And if we turn off F8 and uh, press F1, and uh, you can see if you look, this is, um, I've never seen this in any other mod. If you look at the animal, it shows you the health of the animal, and if you look away, it instantly turns away. Now, uh, that's a great thing, even if you're looking at a chicken, you want to see the chicken's health, and you look away, it goes away. So, uh, that's a really nice improvement, or really, really nice feature of this mod, and, uh, we haven't even began to fly it yet, so uh, let's go in and uh, saddle him up. You need a saddle to saddle him up, and uh, let's see if uh, we can spawn another one. You need a um, dragon egg to see it like this, and you right-click him, and uh, there we go. Now we have two dragons. Now, this one isn't saddled up, and uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna be kind of fighting for me. This is uh, ideally for one dragon, and uh, yeah, this, this one doesn't like me. It's yapping its big mouth at me. Silly dragon, you can be my friend, alright? And, uh, let's see how you fly. Alright, so, uh, this one kind of flies like a, uh, any other normal dragon mod like I have reviewed before, but this is different. You can have a, eat a glistering watermelon like this, and you get this shield. It's a pretty cool shield, right? And, uh, you can go underground and, uh, destroy everything for five seconds. Now, uh, if you eat one glistering, let's get out of here, this is kind of dangerous. Okay, we ate another one, and uh, there we go. So you have a five-second blast shield, and uh, you can destroy absolutely everything with this, and uh, it is extremely fun going down underneath. And uh, the most amazingest feature of all is the wings. You can see that I went and touched down and landed, and uh, you can see the wings kind of closed in, and uh, you can actually walk. Now, uh, this is absolutely amazing, and the mod creator has spent a lot of time with the animation, you can definitely tell, and uh, he definitely needs to be rewarded with this. You can see the awesome animation of it walking is uh, superb, and uh, let's go eat another glistering watermelon, and uh, let's go underground and uh, destroy... Ooh, a rav ravine. That's interesting. I may I may have created that one before. All right, and another feature of it is fire breathing. Now, uh, the one thing I couldn't do is uh, enable it to be fire breathing. You can see that uh, if you have a blaze cream, you on oh, no, the blaze powder, and uh, that's how you make him fire breathe fire but I actually can't make him breathe fire which is uh, kind of disappointing but this still is a work in progress and I'm extremely baffled and amazed at the actual animation of the uh, dragon walking you can see and this dragon wasn't even a problem when uh, we made his new we spawned in his new friend so uh, simply how you begin to fly is just, just double tap spacebar and you can see that it automatically starts to glide up like that and uh, that is truly amazing normally any other dragon mod would uh, basically just look like a staple dragon and uh, this really puts it in and if you move forward fast enough you actually goes into a driving position and the only one thing I don't like about this mod is uh, that uh, you have to use it doesn't go by your mouse see if I'm looking like this and uh, the, the motion of like spinning around doesn't look that uh, real but uh, I really like this mod it is actually absolutely one of the most amazing mods Amazing dragon mods I have seen out so far. Now, this mod doesn't require audio mod or anything, but it does have custom sounds. I'm not quite sure if he uh, messed around with the uh, normal sounds, but uh, you can see the wings flap on the dragon. So uh, you can definitely tell I really like this mod, and that's why I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 Fruit Loops. This is just pure class. You can just go up, and uh, we haven't paid attention too much on our sky bliss this episode, so you know what? We're going to blast shield this away, and I'm using the glistering melons, and we're going to destroy this. How fun is that? We're just ripping through a hole. Let's break a little, little foresty area. Keep on eating glistering melons so we retain the blast shield and uh, we are making havoc here. Oh, there's creepers even in our house. 
This is this is absolutely fun. This is the ultimate griefing tool. A lot of people have said other mods are the ultimate griefing tool. Well, uh, I think this one is my favorite griefing tool. Look at it. The dragon is just simply badass. It, it is uh, one of those amazing mods. You can see how his head moves and goes with the wings as it flies. The animations have been really taken care of and I've eaten a lot of glistering watermelons and that's why I continue to have this uh, sort of enchanting spell around me. Now one other interesting feature of this mod is if you get tired of uh, flying around mid-flight all you have to do is uh, not press that you need to get rid of that and uh, what it does is you right click and uh, you simply float away and uh, it sort of parachutes you down or you can, um, if you have creative mode on, you can just fall off by clicking like this and automatically just falling down or flying away. But it nicely parachutes you down so you don't die if your dragon dies or if you want to fall fall off. And uh, once once you're a, sort of like a Pokemon right there and uh, it goes into the dragon egg and uh, if you want to respawn it, all you do is you click it again and there you go, you already have a saddle dragon, so uh, it is a pretty cool mod. So uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, I'm going to eat some mandarins and play some World at War, I know I've been playing World at War lately, and the one the sad thing is that there's like one person or zero people playing like a certain game type at World of War. I thought there'd be more people playing World at War, but uh, sadly there isn't, so I'm going to be playing that. I've been playing a lot of the retro CODs lately, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if you guys want to hear that, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a nice day.